my experience is actually here in Allison. My grandmother is about four foot one, mm. you know, and she is Forrest Powell's younger sister. And okay, we're going into wearing the jewels on uh, Scarlet Avenue. Avenue. And my grandmother is putting her, 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 her groceries on the, on the, the, the cart to be added up. And this white lady kind of gives her the elbow. elbow like she should move. Now, my grandmother's a very feisty short woman. She's not playing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Right. And the white lady says, listen, nigga lady, you need to move. My grandmother reaches up and grabs her by the hair. Now, you know, I'm about six or seven years old. My grandmother's like this big. And she's in there wailing on this woman. And I'm literally like, as a little kid, I'm going like, oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> but I don't have to worry about it because she's got that pow blood in her. She is wailing on this woman in a way I've never seen. She just... It looked like every single thing that ever bothered her came out on that poor lady. I actually ended up feeling sorry for the white lady because it was like she had a tiger on her head. And what happened? She Who beat broke her, it up? She beat her until some people came and broke it up and tried to calm my grandmother down. My grandmother was throwing her stuff in the car and pushed, grabbed me by the back of my shirt, bring your little butt on, and we out the door we go. And you heard the racial slur? I heard slur. the racial slur, but I just never saw the anger and this little short woman, I, you know, this is my grandma. This she, she doesn't she doesn't. Where the heck did this this monster this come monster from? come from? Right. You know, and I, I want you to know that my grandmother is truly four one. She's about as big as this cane, and I never saw anything like that in my life. And in you, your life personally. In my life personally, I first of all, I was always bigger than most people, so they didn't want to. Did, so you walk down the street and you don't think people are looking at you like I've had, a big I've black had, guy. I've had white women hit their locks on me, but yeah, you know, I, I I tell you that happened to me on church street. A white lady hit her lock, so I pulled up on the other side and hit my lock. You know, like okay, you want to let's just lock each other in. I, you know, that's the only thing that's ever happened to me. And you're like, have you as a black guy? Like, do you do you see that? Does that happen to you? Like people locking their car? What? Look at me! Don't you think so? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. In the elevator? I can get in. I've gotten in the elevator. <laughs> and the woman got off. <laughs> I mean, I can't, you know, like, as a, as a A, white person and B, woman, I can't imagine being in, in your, Company. in your body. Like, I can't imagine somebody looking at me, like, you know, like, I'm just not a threat. And... Well, you know, I can't what? imagine it, it, not being a threat and yet being perceived as one. But the thing about it is, a lot of times, because I have the tools I have, I can play the game. I can really make you feel real stupid locking your door. Because I got charm. I know how to smile. Right, and look at you with that. I've been taught by the best to be the most charismatic. Yeah. Charming person you ever want to see. Excuse me, can I help you? You understand? But then, there are those who don't deserve that. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, I'm, I'm what you smell it, so oh boy, I'm going to stick to join up. Right. Let's right. start and play. Right. You know, so I have that choice, but yeah, doors, elevators, sit down at, you know, at, I can bet you this. I ain't never had nobody sit out on the train next to me going into the city except a black person. Seriously. Never have I ever had a white person sit out next to me on the L. <laughs> and I'm 64 years old. I've been riding since I was 10. <laughs> never in my life have I had a white person sit Next to me on the L. I've had him stand up right there in the empty seat for that. No. Well, remember the other day you were in.